Today you're going to learn how to create particles and how to make these particles be attracted by any object in Blender. So let's delete everything and let's start creating the particle system. For example, a UV sphere. To add a particle system, we need to go to this icon and click here. So if we press spacebar, now we have an object emitting particles. I don't want the particles to be affected by gravity. So we need to go to this icon and disable gravity. So now, if we press spacebar, we see the particles not being affected by gravity. Perfect. Now, let's increase the lifetime of these particles because they are dying really fast. So, let's select the object, go to Particle System, and in Emission, let's go to Lifetime. Now they have a life of 50 frames, so let's increase it all the time, until the end. So now, they have a longer life. Perfect. If you want to increase the number of particles, just increase this number. For example, now I add more, so we see more particles. If you see this word animation, it's because you applied a change in the middle of the animation. So always go to the beginning and play a game start. If you want less, just add less. I'm going to leave 1000. And remember, when we use a particle system, these particles don't have any mesh. So if we try to render this image or video, the particles will be invisible. If you want the particles to be visible, we need to give them an object as an instance. So for example, let's add another UV sphere. And this UV sphere will be the model for the particles. So let's change the name, particle render. And this one will be a meter. So we don't confuse both objects. Now let's go to material view so we can see the colors and let's add a color to the model. So let's create a material and for example, let's select red. Now I want the particles to have this object. So let's select the emitter and let's go to particles in render and select render as object. And here we select which object we want to show. So let's select particle render. So now if I press spacebar, we can see the particles are using the mesh of this object. So we can hide this object. Let's select it, hide it from the viewport and the render. And now if you want to increase the scale of these particles, just go here in render and increase this number. Also, what you can do is to make random scale. So if you click here, you are giving different values to all the particles. I'm going to leave it normal and make it smaller, something like that. Perfect. And I want more red. So let me select the model and increase the red, something like that. Now let's create an object that will be the object, for example, another UV sphere that will attract these particles. So let's call it, for example, attraction. So if you want the particles to be attracted by this object, what we have to do is to give to this object a force field. So select the object and go to this icon, physics, and select force field. So now we see these lines, these circles, that that means that this object has a force field. There is different type of force field, but now we are going to work with force. If we do it like that, now if we move this object, always the force field will be attached to the object. Now, if we press spacebar, the particles are not affected by the force field. Why? If we increase this number, let's try, nothing happens. Okay. This happens because the particles, the object we are using as particles, so the particle render, doesn't have any rigid body. So we need to go to physics and add a rigid body. So now the force field will affect to the particles. So if we press spacebar, now you can see the particles are being pushed by this force field. How a force field works? Basically, this is like the power. And when it's positive, this is pushing the particles 
to all the directions. Actually, this object is emitting a force field, so it's pushing everything. If you want to increase the force field, the strength, just increase this value. More you increase, stronger is the force field. So, if you want to do the opposite, if you want to attract the particles to this object, or attract any object, what we have to do is to make this number negative. So, let's delete everything, and let's make it negative. I'm going to make it a slightly negative to see the difference. So, now it's negative, and the particles are attracted by this point, this force field. And what's happening here is that the particles are going through the object and later coming back. So it's like a force field with attraction. If we increase this force, you will notice more. Okay, but how we do to make the particles? Collide with this object, not go through like a ghost. To do this, what we have to do is to give to this object a collision. So select the object, go to physics, and select collision. And now, if we go to beginning, it's working. This object has a collision, so the particles collide with this object. And what happens is that they bounce, they go far away and they come back because they are being attracted again. So we have this animation like bouncing all the time. If you want to slow down the particles, so we don't see this, but we have a strong velocity, what you have to do is to click in flow. So flow basically is like the friction of the air. If we increase this number, you will notice that the particles now go slower. More you increase, slower they go, and now they don't bounce so much. Let's increase it more and see the difference. We can move this object and you will see that the animation continue. Okay, we need to fix two things. First, let's do a cool animation. So let's put this object in the middle of the scenario. So let's select it, press N, and here at zero. So we have the object in the middle. Now let's make the emitter bigger. So let's select it. I press N to hide this and press S to make it bigger. So now this is emitting particles and the particles are going inside. We need to hide this. So to hide the meter, select the particle system, go to particles, and in render, hide it from the render in show emitter. And if you want to hide it from the viewport, go to viewport display and deselect show emitter. So now we have our object inside the meter and the particles are going all from outside to the center. So if we press spacebar, we have this cool animation like a lot of particles attacking this object. We need to fix another thing. Look at this. All the particles stay in the same place once they are really close to the force field. So how we do that the particles move a bit around the object? To do this, we need to select the object that have the force field. So attraction, come back to physics, and here in shape, now they are working like that, they stay in the same point because we have selected point. But if you select surface, this means that all the objects have an attraction in all the surface, not only in one single point. So if we press spacebar, we have this animation where the particles start to move in around the object, around the surface. So looks better. What I'm going to do now is just to expand the emission of the particles until the end, until 250 frames. So from the frame one until the end, 
all the time this object is emitting particles. And we have this cool animation. Looks like, for example, an object being attacked by a lot of particles. You can use this for medicine or whatever you want to use it. So I hope you like this animation and you learned a lot of new tricks. If you want to learn more tricks about Geometry Nodes, about Blender, I recommend you to subscribe, to give a like, and see you in the next video.